This is a video of me building these flagpoles. Last year when I built this fence, I thought it would be a really good place for some flags. The poles are made from used oil field pipe. This is two and three eighths diameter pipe. And I've got some corresponding aluminum trucks, these cleats, some brass clips, and an American and a Texas flag. Website claimed that these flags are made in the USA. I sure hope that's the truth. Start out by cutting off the end of the oil field pipe, I'm using a guide to make a clean cut. She's using a wire wheel to make a good ground for the plasma cutter. Oil field pipe is screwed together to go way down into the earth. Here I'm cutting off one of the threaded ends. The flagpole pipes will be 21 feet long. And she's using a marking gauge again so we can get a nice clean cut. The plan is to paint these pipes. So she's using a wire wheel to get most of the rust off. The plan is for the flagpole to slide inside an existing fence post that has an inside diameter slightly larger than the outside diameter of this pipe. So the purpose of this collar I'm welding on is where the flagpole will stop sliding down the fence post. You'll see later that my plan did not go exactly how I wanted it to. I learned while building this that 2 and 3 eighths drill stem is not actually 2 and 3 eighths outer diameter. So I had to grind a little bit off the end so that the truck would slide on. Correction didn't really slide on, it's more like a hammer fit. It'd go on kind of crooked, so I'll use this brass punch to straighten it up before I started hammering on it some more. I gave up on the wood block and decided to just hit it directly. I eventually got it on there most of the way, and I don't think it's ever coming off. But just in case, there's three set screws. The rotating flagpole truck has some ball bearings. They came dry, but I decided to put some grease on them. Maybe this is a good idea, or maybe a year from now they'll be just covered in dust and it's a bad idea, but I guess time will tell. There's a top retaining cap and some set screws as well. My wife had previously got most of the rust off with a wire brush. This stuff converts any remaining rust to iron phosphate, and it's supposed to make a good surface for painting. This is the pipe after painting on the phosphoric acid solution. Any remaining rust is converted to a hard black iron phosphate. The instructions said to wash off after 20 minutes. Now I'm spraying it with a primer. I'm using primer out of a can because it allows you to paint the top coat after an hour. Most of the other primers say to wait 24. Now I'm spraying with a black implement paint. This is a paint you can pick up at Tractor Supply and I've had good results with it. However, this stuff was kind of old and I was struggling to get it to spray out right. Here's the paint job the next day, and it almost looks like brand new pipe. This is the fence line where the flagpole is going to go. The first step is to drill and tap some holes for the cleats. I want to do this now before the flagpole is nested inside these posts. Luckily I didn't break the tap off in the pipe. This is the cleat that the flagpole rope will eventually be tied off too. But I think technically you're supposed to call it halyard instead of rope. I made this boom for the skid steer just for these flagpoles. It ended up working pretty good. I think it'd be kind of sketchy for anything heavier than these poles. I ran the rope through the pulley at the top. Before I started to install the pole, I couldn't think of a way to do it after. Even with this boom, the skid steer barely has enough reach to get the pole into the fence post.
with a little bit of wiggling around, I was able to get the post lined up correctly and started to slide in. Maybe slide's the wrong word, it's kind of jerks its way down. This didn't go quite the way I imagined. I think maybe the welding process of welding the fence up caused it to warp, or maybe when I put the post on the ground they bent a little bit, but the flagpole definitely did not just slide on into place. It ended up that twisting it back and forth with a big pipe wrench was the way, was the way to get it to slide down. My carefully prepped paint job took a little bit of a beating from this pipe wrench. Here you can finally see how that sleeve I welded on was intended to work. I put the Texas flag on first. I wanted to get a little practice hooking up a flag so that the American flag didn't drag all around the ground. I did spend six years in the military. I ran the reactor on a submarine. I have a lot more experience with nuclear theory versus raising flags. I got these flagpoles installed on 4th of July and I finished up just in time for sunset. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment down below. Please subscribe. Take care. God bless each of us and God bless America. Have a great day.